Okay, here we go. The camera is set, and uh, here we go. Oh, hello there. Oh, oh, this you ask? Oh, you know, just a brand new shirt uh, that I got to design with a company, and so, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, what was that? Is it for sale? Well, well, yeah, of course it's for sale. I mean, there's a limited supply, and so I mean, if you want to get one, then I suggest you get one now. I mean, link is in the description below. But but I'm not trying to make a sale. This is not a sales pitch. We are here to talk about the absolute best shortcut in Adobe Premiere Pro. Also, to sell shirts. So today I wanted to show you a really cool shortcut that I discovered in Premiere Pro, especially when it comes to consistently color correcting your videos. Now, when I mean by shortcuts, I don't necessarily mean keyboard shortcuts per se, but rather a really... Now, when I mean by shortcut, I don't necessarily mean a keyboard shortcut per se. Hey, I'm taking them out so okay. you can have some quiet, so we'll be gone for about an hour. Okay. Right. <laughs> Now, what I mean by shortcut, I don't necessarily mean keyboard shortcut per se, but rather a really fast way to consistently color correct your photos every single time. And that's by using presets. Let me show you. Okay, so we're gonna start by opening up a project in Premiere Pro. In this example, I'm gonna open up my previous video that I did. So the first thing I wanna show you is what the footage looks like before color correction, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. So here's the footage before color correction, and here's the footage after. Okay. Uh, looks pretty good. So obviously here you can copy and paste those same effects to the rest of the clips in your timeline to get consistent colors But what do you do to keep those same consistent colors with the next video you make or the video after that or the video after that? Well, my friends the shortcut that I discovered for keeping those same consistent colors throughout all your videos is by saving those effects as a preset so say for example, let's just start over from scratch and I don't have any effects on so now we have uh, our video over here and we want to color correct. And so obviously what you're gonna do is go to your color spaces. I have my own workspace, so I'm just gonna choose that. Okay, so uh, we'll, do, we'll do some quick color correcting. So over here, I'll go over here, let's bring up, actually it's good for now. In fact, let's go ahead and a white balance. Let's, uh, and mind you, this is just very fast. I just wanna get to the point. Uh, let's lower the contrast, lower the shadows at the same time. Uh, okay, let's bring down the highlights so this doesn't look like it's uh, overexposed. That looks pretty good over there. Uh, I'm gonna lower the greens because um, Sony cameras tend to have that green tint right there. That looks pretty good. And uh, okay, so say that I like this look over here. I mean, it's certainly better than what this looks like. So over here in the effects panel, just go to Lumetri Color, right click, then save preset and then name it whatever you want. So we'll call it um, Sydney uh, Color Fix Example. Obviously you can name it whatever you want. And then when you go back to your editing workspace, if you go to the effects panel, click on presets and over here you'll see the preset that you just made. And so this is Sydney Color Fix Example. And so I'm gonna go over here to this clip uh, it looks pretty bad, but if I drag this preset over that clip, boom, consistent colors, pretty darn good. Now, keep in mind, this applies if you're filming something in the same location every single time. So if you're making YouTube videos in your room or your studio, this is a really cool way of keeping those same consistent colors every single time. You can actually save multiple effects as one single preset. And so if you want to add masks or some other effects like the, like a mosaic or a Gaussian blur for a particular scene, you can totally do that and save it as one single preset. Also, it's not just for video. You can also save audio effects as presets as well. All you have to do is make those adjustments in one clip, right click on the audio effect or audio effects, save as a preset, and now you have your very own audio preset. So cool, just like this shirt, limited supply, link in the description below. Now I know a lot of you may already know this trick, but I'm talking to those people that have not used it before and do film consistent videos on a weekly basis, maybe even make two, three videos a week. I mean, having the time to color correct and, and adjust your audios every single time, just it takes up a lot of time and effort. And so there you go, presets. And that's pretty much it. Well, hopefully this tip was helpful to you guys. Maybe it helps you speed up your workflow. If it does, 
let me know. If it doesn't, let me know. That'd be pretty funny if it actually makes your workflow worse. But but yes, I am selling shirts. I'm getting to the merch game, finally. I've always wanted to design uh, shirts for storytellers to wear for filmmakers and photographers. And the people at Bonfire helped create this shirt. And so if you are interested in getting this shirt, then go ahead and click the link in the description below. There are different sizes for men and women and kids and different colors. And so there is a limited supply. And so if you wanna, I don't, I forgot how many there are, but if you wanna get one, then get one now. Honestly, I would just be so happy if, if one of you guys buys this shirt. I mean, that would, that would make me smile all week. Unless of course that person would return that shirt and, and then I'd be really sad and, and I wouldn't want to do YouTube anymore. Oh my gosh, why am I so sad? No, I'm just kidding. But if you guys like the shirt, then by all means grab one. And if you don't, then that's totally cool too. I'm just more curious to see how this whole merch game plays out. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I love that I get to be part of your journey, helping you guys become better storytellers every single day. And if you have any questions about filmmaking, camera gear, or even questions about the tip that we talked about today as far as making and saving presets in Premiere Pro, then let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Oh, and also, make something. Okay, bye.